Tails and horns, everybody. Welcome back to the Abyss. I'm at Sigala. Got a package in the mail today from Season and Mist. Ordered some black metal records off their Black Friday sales. Huge discount. Some of these discs were like two bucks a piece. You cannot beat that. So stick around. Let's check this shit out. All right. So like I said, Season and Mist Black Friday deals. Uh, they had some really good sales. So most of these discs, I think, were two or three bucks. I think I paid four for one of them. Awesome shit. They kind of got held up in the mail a little bit, but I finally got it. And damn, a couple of these were blind buys, and this first one kind of blew me away. Uh, this is the 2012 full length from Shores of Melancholy. It's called The Withering. And I believe this is their only release so far. This is a black metal band out of Los Angeles, California. And damn, I really hope they put, up, put something else out. I don't know if they're still together or what. Um, I really like that logo. I don't know how well it's going to focus. But yeah, really sick shit, man. Very fuzzy, fizzy, old school, you know, guitar tone. Not quite like Burtzum's Philosophum, but in that same vein, it's just really fuzzy, fizzy, greedy, grimy feeling. Um, very chilling, cavernous sounds on this. Uh, gobs of reverb on the vocals and the guitars. And I do like that medieval artwork. Really sick shit, man. Uh, the one track on here, Decay of Mortal Cells. I think that's probably my favorite track on here. Again, just really old school, grimy, cavernous, just <laughs> fucking cold black metal. Very atmospheric, ambient at times. And there's like these really creepy, um, like mid sections in the song that are like acoustic with gobs of reverb, really chilling vocals, uh, just solid all around. Again, that's Shores of Melancholy with The Withering. Uh, it's an older album, came out in 2012. I highly, highly recommend it. If, as always, if I can find anything on them, I will link it up in the description so you can check it out for yourself. But that was a steal. I think I paid like two bucks for that. Can't go wrong, but let's see what else we got. All right, so this next one, um, I think out of this whole lot was the one that I was least happy about. I mean, it's not a bad album by any means, but I will not attempt to pronounce the album. I'll throw it up on the screen, but the band is Frostseli. And it's an atmospheric black metal band out of Germany. Um, it's their five-track album. And like I said, it's an atmospheric black metal band. Um, and it, it's not a bad album. It just It's very cookie-cutter, at modern atmospheric black metal. And there was nothing that really stood out as like, holy crap. Um, it's just, it is what it is. It's kind of plain Jane, cookie-cutter, like I said, atmospheric black metal. Not a terrible one. It's just not really up my, uh, not really my thing. So I might dig around, see if any um, anybody I know might want that, and I might put that in a trade or a giveaway or something like that. But definitely go down and check it out for yourself. It might be your cup of tea. It's just kind of bleh for me. But again, for two bucks, you really can't beat the price. So I figured, why the hell not? It was a blind buy. Again, that's Frostily with uh, whatever the hell that says. All right, so moving along, uh, this one much more up my alley than the last one. I really, really enjoyed this one, and I don't know what the hell it is. I didn't pay attention when I ordered, but another 2012 full length. Um, this is Norvis Ordo, I believe is how you say that, and the album is At the End of the New Times. Really sick, just second wave style black metal out of Chile. Um... Kind of got, well, even kind of just off the look, you can tell that they probably took a lot <laughs> of uh, influence from Dark Funeral just by how they're dressed, especially the singer there in the middle. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's got, you know, the, the killer fast tremolo, you know, sections a lot like Dark Funeral, really fast, heavy riffs. Um, vocals are very visceral and kind of raw, and I really liked it. The album's really well put together. Um, I think it was the third track, or no, the fourth track, Visions of a New Eon. I really, really got into that one, man. I was headbanging like a son of a bitch to that one. Definitely go down and check these guys out. Again, I think I paid three bucks for that one, so I'm super stoked. So two home runs out of the first three. The second one was not bad, but eh, but let's see what else we got for you. All right, so next up, another killer, killer album. This one came out in 2014, so yay, we broke the 2012 trend. This one's a little damaged, not too worried about it though. Um, I'm going to butcher this. Antartandes. <laughs> That's probably way wrong, so I apologize for that. 
and the album is called Rising Occult Spiritus, and they are also from Santiago, Chile, and this is just straight up heavy, brutal, thundering black metal. Very, very much in vain with those Swedish bands. Um, think Marduk and, you know, stuff like that, Dark Funeral. Um, very fast, heavy, but still maintains some melody and things like that. The guitars are just way, deep, not that high pitch fizzy shit that, you know, everybody does in black metal. It's very, very tuned, very, very punchy, heavy, rhythmic, and it just blasts the shit out of you, man. Really enjoyed this. Again, if you like Marduk and Dark Funeral, those type of, you know, higher production black metal bands that are just heavier and a little brutal, definitely check these guys out. Um, wow, yeah, $1.99 I think I paid for this, and this might be my favorite one out of the bunch. Either this or that uh, withering CD that I showed first, but yeah. Definitely check these guys out. Highly, highly recommend them. Um, they might still have some on Season of Mist. Um, soft Ray Soul production, so maybe go check there. If it's on sale anywhere, definitely pick it up. Even if it's not, definitely worth it, in my opinion. We're down to the last CD, guys, and then we'll call it a day. All right, down to the last CD. And again, this was another super cheap one. A little bit of damage to the case, so not really mad about it. Um, for $2, you can't beat it. And this one says, File Under Goat Whore, Ritual Killer is the name of the band. And it says right on here, and this is a perfect explanation, each of the album's eight tracks explodes like blast, a blast from Hell's Furnace and captures true essence of black metal fury. If, you're like, if you like Possessed, Celtic Frost, Dark Throne, and Marduk. Uh, yeah, pretty much sums it up. I would say this album is a perfect blend of Marduk's, uh, what is that, Wormwood? and Goat Horror's Blood for the Master, I think it was called, the one with like the skull chalice and the blood dripping down. But yeah, Ritual Killer. Oh my god, this was a fucking brutal album, man. This came out in 2015, it's called Exterminance. Um, a little bit of damage to the case. This is a Season of Mist release. I think it was the only one out of my Season of Mist haul. And Jesus Christ, this album is heavy, man. Like I said, if you're into bands like Marduk, Goat Horror, things like that, definitely check these guys out. Um, fast, aggressive, and there are some fucking creepy, like, screams and background vocals in this. Like, sounds like you're listening to a fucking exorcism or something in the background behind the music sometimes. So, really cool, haunting, just brutally fast, heavy shit, man. Again, the best way to describe it is Goat Heart meets Marduk, in my opinion. Dark Throne, yeah, I didn't really hear a whole lot of that. There's some rawish elements, I guess you could you could go that way, but uh, it's fast, thrashy, heavy ass black metal, man. Definitely, definitely gonna check out. I know these guys have some more releases, um, at least one. I think this is uh, this might actually be their newest one. I should probably start doing some research before I do these damn videos. I just kind of write the band names and the album names and the year it came out down. Maybe I should start doing some more research. But that's it, guys. Pretty pretty killer haul again overall for pretty much everything but the Ritual Killer being a blind buy and really only having the one that was kind of meh. Like I said, not bad, but not great either. It's just kind of, that is what it is, I guess, sometimes. That's what happens when you do blind buys and mystery bags, stuff like that. But thanks everybody for stopping by and checking out the video. I got a few more in the pipeline, so definitely come back. In the meantime, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button or check out a new video or an old video, I guess. That's it, guys. Hails and Horns. We'll see you soon.